Greetings, welcome back to Fable 3. Oh, I saw that. Let's go to Millfields to meet with our dear lady who wants to donate ours to donate something for our cause. Yes. We'll see what what is that she really wants. Is that the house? No, it's the only house that we cannot buy at the Pink one. I know where the thief is. He fled into the woods. Thief. I understand you want to recover what you've lost, but those woods are simply too dangerous. It would be suicide to enter them without combat experience, or training, or skill. I don't want to enter them. I want you to. Right. I was talking about me. Oh, just forget it. Ah, oh, Your Majesty. It's such an honor to have you here. If only fate hadn't conspired to make me look like a fool. I so wanted to make a contribution to the noble cause. What's the use of a priceless heirloom if we're all going to perish in who knows what frightful way? I had taken the statuette out of the family vault, ready for your visit, only for a common thief to take it in broad daylight. Can you believe it, Your Majesty? The thief ran into the woods, and naturally the soldiers are too scared to follow. Why must the uneducated be so superstitious? But you know no such fear, do you? Find the villain, your majesty. He has stolen more than a statue. He takes with him the future of our kingdom. Which forest? I certainly hope uh, you're not talking about the silver wood. Silver pine. superstitious, but there's no denying dangerous beasts lurk within. Good luck. I know you will succeed. You got them hack. Silver pines, yeah? No? Wait, over this one statue. Find the thief, okay. Can you tell me where he went? No? I guess it means silver pines. Your command. Yeah, it's definitely silver pines. All things considered. Mm, I hate it. I really, really hate silver pines. I hate balverines. Wait, where? <laughs> okay, I think I know what statuette she meant. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I know what we are encountering here. Looking for the statue, your majesty. Follow the white palvary. Yeah. God damn it. Okay, thank you. I may go back to the road to rule and <laughs> upgrade our magic. Hold the white bubble, you say. What? Treasure? Where? Oh no, not that again. Somewhere there. Thank you very much, my dear doggy. But I hate to say that there's nothing here. You know what? Give me a second, I'll be right back and I will actually Google that. Because I have no idea what's going on. Okay, apparently there is something on that hill. Which we have to go around to get on the hill. We'll see about that, because as you could, I already tried to get on that hill, but just couldn't. There's no way for me to get up there. So I usually treat it as if it's just a bag. Where is he? I heard him, but I didn't see- okay, he's there. Wait, what's that? We've been. I think we've been there. 
Isn't this where we found bones? Yeah, this is where we found some of the bones. Okay, but let's follow the white balverine, which is for sure a great idea. Man, thank you. Where is he? Oh, the, the, the. I hate you so goddamn much. I really do. Yeah, that's the town. We've been in there before. Hello? Right, you monster. Prepare to meet your... Oh, oh I'm so sorry. For a moment there, I thought you were a Belverine. Damn things are always trying to get through our defenses. We burn silver nitrate in those lamps to keep them out. Kills them pretty quick if they hang around for too long. If a lamp goes out, well, I don't like to think what might happen then. One went out just recently, but we got it lit again fast. The man responsible, this bloke Connor, got punished. Severely. Before he disappears into the forest, he tells us there's gonna be a reckoning. He's probably in 25 different stomachs right now. That's my reckoning. You can come on out, everyone. It's safe. Okay, anything else you wanna tell me? No? Fine. I'll find right, out. Okay, I'll find out what's happening by myself. Well, I know what's going on here. Because the history likes to repeat itself. The question is whether am I going the right way or not okay we are going to go the right way what are you doing here pete okay <laughs> i know he shouldn't be here really he should be gone after the quest with the Ghost of a wolf. Come on, doggy. I know you can do this. You can make it. Come on. Come on, you've got this. Thank you. Another 1000 gold. Hello, how are you? Woo -woo -woo -woo. Your Majesty, I've been expecting you. Been through the village, have you? Charming Hamlet. It's full of warm, wonderful people who'll give you the shirt off their back and condemn you to death for one simple mistake. Anyone can fall asleep on watch. You exile him into this forest and call it justice. But enough about that. You're here for that statue. It's quite a remarkable thing. It did everything the legend said it would. And now I don't need it anymore. <laughs> it's funny how things change. So if you want to take it back to that prig in Millfields, it's yours. Nearly free of charge. All I ask is a small thing. Destroy those silver nitrate lanterns. Then the village will get a taste of justice. The choice is yours. And it's a simple one. How simple? If you decline, my brothers will kill you. Ah oh, well. 
I suppose it was too much to hope for. Good luck trying to kill me. Your choice won't save the village. Now that I'm a leader of the pack, we've got some brains to go with our brawn. We'll lose a few of the weaker members, but we'll deal with those lanterns on our own. Okay. In the meantime, killing you will be a good way to, shall we say, get the blood flowing. I should have gotten the mag magic upgrade. Anyone else? No? Good. Let's rush back into the village. Let's left here. Some more of the Balverins. God, really hate Balverins. <laughs> they are always so annoying. Would much rather fight a troll than Balverins. Even though right now they seem easy. Very easy. Because we are new in the end of the game. And the lanterns are out. No, you don't. Oh, no, 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 I don't. Why? How do you manage to miss something so big? Okay, that was strange. Yeah, okay, I heard someone behind me. Is there another one? Or just you decided to miss again? Okay. Oh, well, that was easy. You are stronger than I imagined, Your Majesty, but not strong enough. Prepare yourself for death. Are you for real? No, no, stay away. No, no, you are not moving. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved us from certain destruction. We're in your debt. You'll always be welcome here, should you wish to return. Connor had this on him. It looks like a Belverine. It's yours if you want it. Impressive. Of course I want it, I just tried to move the cable from my headphones away. Of course moved everything else as well. Okay, let's get back here. We still have enough gold to protect everyone. That's nice. Hello, oh, Muriel. By the way, how did you get? Hello, You're back. Did you find the thief? Yep. Did you recover the statue? Yep. Of course he did. He is the king, and thus infallible. If you will hand the statue to me, Your Majesty, I will endeavor to appraise it. What? Okay, I'll give it to you. Hey, do this, and we shall be friends. Um. I have something that needs delivery. No! Go away! Oh my god. Did I give it? Or not? Go away. I don't want to talk to you. I don't know whether I gave it or not. I don't think I did. Yes. You found it? Oh, I can barely contain my tears. Oh, excuse me, Your Majesty. I, I can't let you see me this way. Uh, and please, make make good use of it. 
Okay. Deliberate all you like. No, just as long as it's always so melodramatic. As for this little item, it is every bit as valuable <laughs> that as is I most hoped welcome to use. The Return to me when you're done, dear boy. Treasury. Unless, of course. Well, it is your statue now. You could always opt to keep the proceeds for yourself and administer them as you see fit. What do you wish to do, my king? I want to donate it, I just don't know which. I don't think I can actually do it right now. What the f That guy that tried to give me quest actually destroyed the game. Give me a second, I'll restart and see you back in this moment. Okay, now we can finally make decision. I will donate it to the treasury. I know. Okay, put it like this. Yay, and we can upgrade another weapon or magic for the to the highest level and I need to turn off the f glowing trail again yes one's heart with confidence and supreme satisfaction to see the treasury filled to the brim I have taken to sleeping beneath the gold and can report nothing but restful nights as for today's first order of business, you may have heard about the dire situation the Kingdom's economy finds itself in. Logan's policies always kept our cities on the edge of bankruptcy, and the panic caused by the fast-approaching darkness has only exacerbated the situation. I'm afraid the only way to stop this slide into ruin is to bail out Bowerstone's financial institutions. The people are looking at you to save them from economic disaster. But remember that doing so may condemn them to a much darker and bloodier fate. What shall we do, your majesty? I'm pretty sure we can make it, you know? Yeah, we have enough gold for everything. Magnanimous person. Thank Very you. Well, I will make the arrangements. Life will be easier for your subjects for a while, but the treasury will not easily recover. I don't care. I only hope we haven't thrown away our chances of survival. Don't worry about that. Always replenish our gold supplies by donating from your personal funds. And I'll probably do so. Yeah. Consider proposal to build a military outpost, rule on the future of Mistpeak, and commission the Albion army. Okay. Kaelin, the representative for the Auroran people, has requested an audience with you. Okay, but first of all, I need to turn off that thing. Nope. You know, nope. You know which thing. And I want to check out whether we have those quests, new quests available. Still no. Okay, I might have to check. How can I get those? Yeah, and I still need to find two more plants. May maybe we can go back here after we've built the outpost for Aurora. We'll check it out. First of all, let's get out of those rooms. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's here. Okay. Oh my. Okay, what's happening? Hello. Hello, everyone. The king. Today you must decide how much protection to grant Aurora. Kaylin will offer her proposal. Reva will stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, as you know, the threat from the deserts that surrounds my city has not diminished. The darkness could fall upon us once more at any moment. Aurora is part of your kingdom now, and I ask that you grant us protection. Build a desert outpost that can warn my people should the crawler attack. 
It shall allow us to leave the city in time and ensure the survival of your loyal subjects. <laughs> A desert outpost? I've never heard such nonsense. What should we do next? Erect taverns under the sea? Plant crops on mountain peaks? It is a foolhardy suggestion. Why should our valiant soldiers suffer sunstroke and chapped lips in a distant land when they could be protecting the people of this very city? Is it really worth risking the lives of all the people outside these walls for a mere alarm system? Of course not. Let us leave the funds and the soldiers where they belong, right here. The darkness poses a threat to us all. But Aurora has already suffered more than its fair share. The final decision rests with you, Your Majesty. Aurora is under our protection. It is our duty to build this outpost. The King's decision is final. A military outpost shall be erected in the deserts that surround Aurora. We shall not forget this gesture. Aurora thanks you. Ah, you are a whimsical monarch. And that is why you are so beloved. Very well, it shall be done. Reva Industries is proud to present an exotic tale of romance, adventure and sand. The Desert Outpost. Bring forth Sabine of the Miss Peak Dwellers. Today you decide on the fate of Miss Peak, home of the Dwellers, Your Majesty. Sabine will speak for his people and their land. Reva will dispute his cause. You may speak. I come here seeking nothing but what was promised me and my people. You pledged to restore our home mountains and our right to dwell in them. We have fulfilled our end of the bargain. We have paid with our lives to sit you on that throne. Now you must fulfill your end, undo the damage your brother did to our land, and our agreement shall be satisfied. Your Majesty, this sounds both an unnecessary expense and an impudent demand. What value is there in a few trees languishing amongst snow and rock? This is not the time to indulge some idyllic fantasy. Those forests are a resource, and we are in dire need of resources. I propose we expand on your brother's initiative and take what nature offers so readily. Say the word, and I will transform the worthless wasteland of Mist Beach into assets we can use to defend Albion. These hands are not yet so old or weak that I can't wring that pretty little neck of yours, Reaver. Huh. The refined retort of a true mountain goat. You made a promise to Sabine, but it's up to you whether you decide to honor it. I will keep my promise to the dwellers. The Miss Peak Mountains will be restored. Miss Peak shall become a protected region and the dwellers shall be granted authority over its forests and resources. You are true to your word and your honor. The dwellers will stand by you till the end. The forests of Mist Peak are our greatest national treasure, and now, thanks to Reva Industries, they have returned to their past splendor. Dwellers, birds, and bunnies are free to roam, laugh, and kill each other as nature intended. Who needs all that lumber anyway? Okay, now what? Oh, we're trying to help some. Okay. Okay, oh, give me that, give me that, give me that, don't, don't, don't go away. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm the greatest, I know. Ah. Where, oh, there he is. What? 
No! I just want to run a little bit faster. It is time, Your Majesty, to meet fate with steely resolve and commission Albion's army. We will use the funds we have to establish the best possible defense. Before I can commit those funds, however, I require your signature on a contract stating your awareness of the projected number of civilian casualties. Strictly a formality, of course, though should the number alarm you, you may wish to donate as much gold to the treasury as possible before you sign. I don't want to end this yet, but I will transfer to treasury. Oh my gold, it should be enough. But we still need to do something. Well, we need to find. Oh, I think it's it is enough. We won't do it yet because there's still something to do. I we still don't have the millfield quest. We need. Is it really not possible to do everything before the end? Be I'll be right back. I have to check it, really. I don't want to end this just yet. Okay, so most of the stuff, or well, all of the stuff that I want to do happens after we do this, so I guess Very that's it. If you could just sign on the dotted line, please. Yeah. Several of my subjects will die in the coming war. And you know, this is the end. The attack starts tomorrow. Your Majesty. One year as King of Albion. Doesn't time just fly? I am delighted to say that the Albion army has been deployed in preparation for the invasion. So we may enjoy the occasion without apprehensions. To celebrate this momentous day, I have prepared some fantastic events. First, you will stand still for several hours while a local artist paints your portrait. Then, you will choose the 47 varieties of flowers you wish to be cast at your feet as you parade through the city. Oh, and you will need to sign thousands of autographs, of course. Let's see, you will also be fitted for a new pair of shoes, and of course you will need a new suit. Day has come, King. It is time for you to face the darkness. But you will do so in your true form. Over the past year, you have made decisions that reveal your nature and which have affected the lives of all your subjects. You have done what many would have thought impossible. Not only have you raised an army to protect your people, but you have accomplished this while acting as a noble, benevolent, and popular ruler. But you are more than a king. You are a hero. You are Albion's champion, its protector. This coming battle is the reason you had to take Logan's place. Only you can defeat the creature that dwells in the shadows. If you do not, all your efforts will have been in vain. Now go. Do what you were born to do. I will do it, but first... Okay, I can get it. <laughs> For a moment, I had a mom I had a little doubt that I will be able to get this upgrade, which is sweet. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have enough to get this, but we will get it. Don't think. Otherwise, I will do everything to get that last melee upgrade. Everything. It's here. 
The darkness has reached Powerstone. The attack has barely begun, but already we have suffered terrible casualties. We simply weren't ready. If we don't act quickly, there may not be a kingdom left to defend by dawn. We have to get out on the streets, now! Today we fight for Albion! For, for Albion! Albion. For Albion, I guess. God damn, my dog killed 151 strangers. Every I've got got your name on it. Oh, we're fighting. No, we weren't fighting. Okay. What? No, no. Oh. Really? All oh, right. I changed my al alignment. <laughs> Well, I didn't really change it, but I did actions to change it. No, it won't. Then go, save them. No, it is not. Not the only one. Where do we go? I am not listening. We have to move. Okay, I guess that's the way we should go. It's not Paige. This isn't real. It isn't real. This of course, it's not for real. Please tell me it's just a nightmare. I have my own shadows to deal with you. I don't know which... I have no idea which ones are mine and which are evil ones. Let's keep on going. You have yeah, I'm sure they will. Lucky, unlucky for you, I was a good person, so no one hates me. And kill them. They know they are not tough at all. My heart is too bright for you, fella. Nope. Would you just die already? I'm 
Okay. Thank you. Just kill it. <laughs> oh, really? I really think I should have changed that. Oh my god, I don't see. I think that the one who created those enemies read a lot about the CF. The Antoine. Oh, about the sacrifice or catacombs, I don't remember. But there was that religion, that one island that. Uh, praise the gods of darkness. Never wanted to end this game. <sighs> Stay away. Stay away. He changed there for a second. Again, he changed. inside me all this time but it's light now I can see the sky and it's light <clears throat> I don't think I can fight anymore it's all over Walter we won we beat it together do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child there was a great king once the mightiest hero of them all. Remember what you would say. Teach me to be a hero. You've done me proud, boy. You've always done me proud. <sighs> oh, Walter. I think old Walter would have liked it out here. He was always a fan of looking tall and stony. I can imagine what he'd say if he was here now. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> exactly. It's time I return to my own castle. If ever you need to save the world from another abomination, you know where to find me. My people shall never forget what you have done for them. 
We are proud to be part of Albion. I shall return to Aurora in the knowledge that we may at last enjoy peace. Farewell, Your Majesty. Walter was right about you. You're a hero in every sense of the word. The hero Albion needed. What will you do now? I will continue to serve you the best way I can. I belong down in the city. The people there will always need help. Goodbye, my king. You have done what I thought impossible. You are the ruler I could never be. But you don't need me anymore. An Albion will heal easier without me. Well, king, old chum, ruler supreme, Al, you did it. You saved the kingdom. And it's my turn to say goodbye. I'm not cut out to be a general. Now, I think I'd like to start traveling again. Or maybe... See if Paige needs any help down in Industrial. But before I go, let's send off our friend in style, shall we? This one's for you, Walter. This is the world as it could have been. Devoid of color, devoid of life. It is thanks to you that it isn't so. And you did it without becoming a tyrant. The people love you, and you have banished the shadow of your brother's reign. You kept your promise to Sabine and his people, when it would have been easier to turn your back on them. A noble gesture. You swore an oath to Paige to better the lives of your people, and you did so even in the face of great danger. You did for the Aurorans what your brother would not. He broke his promise, but you proved to be the better leader. Without the strength to make those choices, we would not be standing here now. Perhaps we shall meet again one day, King. Aren't you going to tell me my future? The future will reveal itself when it is ready to do so. You've done the impossible, saving your kingdom while suffering virtually no losses, places you among the greatest leaders of the old time. Your people love you and consider it an honor to be the subjects of such a magnificent hero. Ah, not you again. No, 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 we're not gonna listen to her. We're gonna end this part here for now. But don't worry, we will be back for now. Stay alive and see you soon.